the, the Third World Ra, a cramped tin shed serving as the triage centre and waiting room for the $2.4 billion Royal Adelaide Hospital's emergency department is triggering complaints about appalling third world conditions from patients. Garo, I, I mean, seriously, I can't believe that they are not they are not fast tracking. You know, maybe leave your ALP love in in Brisbane and have a chat about health first thing Monday morning. I uh, know, because then you'd have to be accountable. <laughs> um, with the amount of money and the amount of focus that we've had on health in the last three years. Um, I think we actually do really need a Royal Commission into COVID because yeah. so much money was spent in this area and yet we've come out the other side and it's just absolutely disastrous. And the um, excuse that every single Premier is giving is, oh, well, health infrastructure and, and nurse shortages are around the country, therefore it's OK. Mm -hmm. No, it's not OK. It's not acceptable. And to be able to blame, essentially, say, to say that it's, poor across the country means it's OK for it to be poor in your particular state is just not good enough. Mm. Um, the thing is, is that health, particularly for state elections, is always a core issue. Mm. And if any of the state governments uh, has not performed well and has a state election coming up soon, well, then I think you're going to be in a slight world of pain mm. because this is something that will be focused on uh, because it's something that people absolutely expect. And if you've spent that much money, people want to see a dividend. Yeah. You mentioned that. Uh, very good evening yeah. to the uh, Queensland Cabinet that are watching this evening. <laughs> Lise, what do you think? I mean, health is surely going to be front of mind for Queenslanders as well as crime next year. Yeah, exactly. It should dominate that next election. But just picking up on what Caro said, when I read that story, and it's appalling, you've got people... You, they've basically put the equivalent of, what, two demountables in as an entry point for their ED. Yeah. For, and they're saying... Mm. The, the comment is what got me. The comment from the, the public health spokesperson was, we thank the community for their understanding. Well, no, they're not understanding <laughs> at all. Yeah. And serious questions have to be asked. Yeah. Like, at the very least, you know, there should be a few more demountables you can put in there to actually make sure that pe aren't people, people mm. aren't outside in the cold waiting to get into ED. And then summer's coming. What are they going to do? Stand out there out in the, the yeah. sweltering heat while they wait to go inside sick? It's, it's outrageous. And you're spot on. Youth crime particularly, and then also health in this state, in Queensland, yeah. should be the two big uh, election issues when we, when we go to the polls. Yeah. And, yeah, just a warning to Queensland and West Australians that will go to the polls as well. Remember, Malinowskis won an election purely on health in South Australia, mm. of all places.